I always thought that you had to have a huge following just to be able to work and collaborate with brands, but the truth is, that is a complete lie. And even as a small creator, you can definitely work with brands, so uh, let's dive in. Dive in. That's a Trey Song song, right? But I know there's a song about it, and I'm gonna look like an idiot when I play the clip. I'm about to dive in. Dive in. Sweet. What's good, you legends? I hope you're doing dope. Today, we are talking all about collaborating with brands. So as usual, I'm about to bring you some value, some education, sir. I'm gonna hook you up with tips that are gonna help you land some deals with brands. Here are some of the brands that we have been able to work with. Zhuin, that's how you say it, right? Pennzoil, Monster, Epidemic Sound, of course. Link in description. Cuts Clothing. This isn't even one of their shirts, though. Artless, and many more. Before we jump into anything, you need to know this. People think that collaborating with brands is kind of like Tony Hawk's Underground, if you haven't played it. Where basically, you start off as this character from the ghetto, that you have all these mad skills, right? And then one day, some pro comes and finds you in the middle of your neighborhood. You're like, dang, that guy go hard. And then he gives you like a deal. And basically, you just overnight become some success, and you're just ready to dive in. Dive in. Yeah, bro, working with brands is not like that at all. You can be the best in your field, but if you don't post stuff, if you're not posting it consistently, if you're not putting your stuff out there, nobody's gonna find you. So if you're not posting it out there, no one will know. God himself might as well take that talent from you and just give it to me, because I'll probably put it to good use. That sounds vicious, don't it? But all that arrogance aside, that should give you a push to go and do something with your craft. Here is what collaborating with brands actually looks like. You post stuff that you're interested in, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is that you want, then you send an email out to somebody or a DM on Instagram to a brand that you like and you would like to work with and say, hey, this is some of the value that I can offer and I would love to work with you guys. And then they say, okay. And it will go in a couple of ways. Number one, they'll just give you free gear in exchange for you to post a video and tag them and whatnot. Or you get a sponsored video where you just make a regularly scheduled video and they get like a 30 second to one minute spot of you just advertising for them. Or they invite you on a trip to some giveaway or something like that and then you just pretty much document the experience. So now that you have a crash course in how all this works, let's jump right into number one, which is you have to have a big following to work with brands. Yeah, that's a myth, bro. That is not real. If this gad is real, then this would really hurt. And if this gad is real, this would really hurt. That's a Malibu's most wanted reference. See that? I just shot my foot. Cool, make me look like a fool. Moving on. That is a myth. It is an illusion that you have to have a big following to work with brands. I have a great example for you from my boy Say, okay? I've worked with him in the past and he is a dope creator. So right now, I think he has a following around like 4,000, 5,000 on YouTube and he start, wait, why don't I just hit him up and have him tell you? Yeah, what's up, brother? Hit him with it. Hi, right, thanks, Joseph. Hey, what's going on, guys? So yeah, when Zium first reached out to me to collab with me on August last year, I was at like 1,570 subscribers. I know, because I just looked it up. Uh, one of the marketing guys DM'd me on Instagram using his own account, so I was like, hey, email me instead, because I knew on email you can actually see the IP address or where it came from. So that's the best way to see if they're legit. They first sent me this teeny little cheap gimbal to review, but I knew I had to like prove more value than I'm worth, because they don't know my value yet. So I was like, heck yeah, fast forward a couple Gimbal Reviews and I'm now one of their ambassadors and I got to be one of their paid workshop speakers at CES 2020 uh, before the pandemic. So yeah, when they took me out to dinner that night in Vegas, I just asked point blank, why me? Small following, brand new channel. And this is the exact answer they gave me. I don't act like a small channel, apparently. I provide good quality videos, take time to explain things well, and most importantly, I have good engagement, meaning I have a lot more thumbs up compared to thumbs down on my videos with lots of comments. So yeah, uh, is that about 45 seconds? All right, <laughs> man. Back to you, Joseph. Thanks, dude. So as you can see, it doesn't matter what your following is. Sometimes you need to remember that you have no idea who is watching your content. So that company that sells all these expensive gimbals, that is someone who reached out to say to work with him. So number one, it's not about the following. You just need to be posting consistently. Which leads me on to number two. Let me hit you with some facts. Did you know that brands are more likely to work with smaller creators than larger creators because they feel that smaller creators have a closer knit community and they would seem more authentic and more trustworthy, meaning that they would be able to get more sales from whatever they are trying to advertise to you? Dude, that means us. So here's a quick bonus tip for you before you start reaching out to other brands and start doing what you wanna do. You need to make sure that everything that you are doing on your Instagram, your YouTube, your whatever, is 
is focused on whatever area and your niche that you're interested in. I talked a little bit more about this in this video up here on how I grew my Instagram from 700 to 7,000, something like that. It's a long title, sorry, bro. But in one of those points in that video, I talk about this. You need to get rid of them selfies, bro. Get rid of all those things that are just about you and your personal life. If you wanna run this as a business, if you wanna work with brands, you need to ditch all that stuff. Now look, I love your mama Karen, and your daddy Ken, and your homie Big Juice. I know that they're awesome, but if you wanna run this as a business, and you wanna work with brands, they don't wanna see that, man. They wanna see stuff that you're working on. Especially if you have followed my channel for a while, you know that this is about videos, and pictures, and cameras, and high quality content. You don't wanna have some random selfie on your Instagram that has nothing to do with your area, with your niche, with your thingy. Whoa. <laughs> Let's move on. Remember, brands care about one thing, and one thing only, everybody, ROI, return on investment. Hey, that sounded kind of good. So right now, if you're not making an effort to elevate your personal brand, why should they trust their brand in you? Bars, pew, 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 pew. Dude, I almost got like a headache on that one. But this is kind of like number 2.5, make sure that you're providing value. You've probably heard it a thousand times, but go into it asking yourself, what is it that I can offer? What is it that I can give of value? Don't go in there trying to find out what you can take. Go in there trying to find out what you can get. Dang, that would preach, won't it? Wow! So you need to figure out your strengths, okay? For me, I'm decent with video, decent with photos, decent with all that crap, right? But you need to find out what your strength is in whatever area it is. Whatever that strength is, that is what your value is. That is what you can capitalize on. And right now, if you're saying, hey man, I don't have any strengths, then go out there with your camera, with your makeup, with your music, with whatever it is that you have, and make it be your strength. Dang, man, I'm like, I'm freaking preaching over here. But remember, you got this. You're a freaking legend, so go out and take what's yours, bro. So here's a couple of more quick tips, all right? Number one, get involved. Get involved in your community, the people that like your photos, the people that comment on your photos. It doesn't matter if it's your cousin or if it's your friend. Make connections. Check out local meetups that maybe you're interested in. Go to stores that are in your area, trade shows, networking events. I don't know how many times I get Instagram messages of people saying, oh man, I wish I had friends that I can go shoot with. Bro, you're not gonna find it by just sitting there looking on Instagram. Go out there and meet people. One of the best examples of my boy Say. Do you remember him? Oh, hi, remember me? Yeah, that guy. Did you know that he is the one that got me in contact with Juin, not me? So how did I meet Say? He just commented on some of my videos, we followed each other on Instagram, we started exchanging some messages, and all of a sudden, we actually met up and ate at the wrong restaurant. That's something for another story. All I'm saying is make connections. Don't try and go out there and get something from somebody. Create lasting relationships. Send a message talking about what you can offer, not what you can take. Or if you wanna be a little bit more professional, you can find the marketing team email thingy, and then you can send them an email, and that can really get you a little bit further than even a DM would. Or if you really wanna flex, you can send a video or send an email about how you would like to work with them and provide them with value. Because if you send a video, that's gonna catch attention because they're gonna be like, oh snap, this guy took the time to make a video, edit it, color it, and send it to us just to ask if we could work together. That's gonna get you a lot further. And finally, this is my ultimate secret on working with brands. Be authentic with who you are. Don't make things just because they get views. Don't make things just because it's a trend. Don't make things just because. Find something that you're passionate about. Post about it, talk about it, get involved with people that are involved in that entire space. And then the moment that you do send out a message, those people will see that you were already following them from before, that you were engaging with their content from before, that you were tagging them whenever you did use their stuff, even if they hadn't even contacted you to do any kind of sponsorship. Be authentic, be real, follow those people, comment, engage, and create a true community. Don't fake it, man, we can tell. I hope that that helped you out, and if you think that there's some things that I missed that you think would really benefit other people, go ahead and put that in the comments below. But anyway, I think that that is it. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Follow me on Instagram, at Keyboard Kim if you wanna see all the behind the scenes and all of that jazz, because I have a dope, video coming out soon. Here's a little clip. Yes. So stay tuned. A bunch of dope stuff is coming out, but I think that that is it. And I will catch you on the flip side. Cowabunga. Yeah, let's not do that. Dang, bro, it's hot up in here. Oye, está caliente, oiga? Uno que trabaja bien duro, so. It feels nice being here. You like that? Oh, right, look. Smash Brothers? Yo, I like I like to do the spin. Okay, I'm up. Bye, yo. What the problem here? Yeah.